Okay, I just logged into my GoDaddy domain name registry account. And I have some uh, upkeep I need to do on some of my domain names because they are some of them are about to expire. So it occurred to me as I was doing this to make a video about something pertaining to the internet. Now, as you can see right here, it shows that I have 164 domain names. And uh, I'm going to block these out so you can't see what they are. But these are the domain names. And it occurred to me to make a video about this subject because most people have no idea. And by the way, GoDaddy is an excellent resource. It's I use GoDaddy for a lot of things. Their the customer service is incredible, awesome. They're tremendous. I have a cold right now, so you have to excuse that. I'm a little stuffed up. But uh, there's another company that was prominent long before GoDaddy came on the scene. Uh, GoDaddy is the number one domain name registry in the world. And what I want to talk about is not GoDaddy, but uh, a man named Emmett McHenry. Emmett McHenry obviously is African American. That's him. Okay. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is go to a video. I'll show a clip of it. About this pioneer in the most of the things I've done didn't business. exist when I was an undergraduate student. Most of the things I think about didn't exist. It's almost beyond one's reach to begin to think about what it might be 20 years from now. Emmett McHenry is a visionary known for his legendary ability to successfully unite communication with computer technology in groundbreaking ways. Emmett is a quintessential pioneer. He brings together innovative spirit, creative design, an absolute fearlessness, and a huge affection for the human spirit. Emmett's time as a DU undergraduate deeply influenced his advocacy for higher education and his lifelong support of the university. He's a leader at least as much because of what he does behind the scenes, how he helps people, uh, with, often without their even knowing it. Emmett's own career spans the array, from corporate America to military service, academia to entrepreneur. He founded the domain name registry Network Solutions and went on to build a number of successful companies, including his current venture, Artura, a partnership with his son. Okay, Network Solutions. At one time, like I said, let me tell you a little bit about Network Solutions. It was founded in 1979. Okay. And one of the businesses that Network Solutions was responsible for was the registration of domain names. Uh, something happened with Network Solutions. I'm not going to get into it on this particular video, but it's really disturbing because... This man would be a multi-billionaire today were it not for some foul play that took place on behalf of others, which would include persons within our United States government who basically would not work with this man so that he could uh, charge the right prices in order to maintain his company. So he ended up selling the uh, business to another company who within a very short period of time went back to the government to get authorization to do exactly what he had attempted to do and whereas they had said no to this black man they turned around and said yes 
to the white man. That's boss. Who made billions as a result of that. This is what happens with African Americans. Now, if you, you know, I happen to know that he's very reticent to uh, cry foul or to, you know, cry over spilled milk or lost milk or whatever, cry sour grapes, but I know he's very disturbed by it, but he continues to do the things he does to be a pioneer within the uh, information technology business. He's on the forefront of technology. But it's really disturbing that even today, so many times when we do something, they not only try to steal credit from an African American, but they would do everything they can sometimes to thwart your efforts or not allow you to do it, but turn around and allow someone else to do the same thing so that they could take credit for it and continue the insidious scheme that they have to keep you unaware of the true progress and achievements of African Americans. It's a concerted effort. And yes, it is a conspiracy. He's the um, chairman and CEO. He's very strategic, you know, focused on the, the vision and the direction of the company. Emmett is often on the leading edge of advancing computer technologies, which makes his insights and involvement in startup companies like the software innovator Semantic Labs a true value in a competitive economy. There are tons. I made a video previously about Mark D, the man who is most responsible for inventing the IBM PCAT platform, which uh, allowed uh, us to get to where we are today. All subsequent computers have been modeled after the IBM PCAT. Okay, there was a time that there was only two types of computers on the market. You either bought a Apple Macintosh or you bought an IBM compatible or an IBM. And the reason all the other computers were called IBM compatibles is because they were all compatible with the IBM PCAT platform that was developed by Dr. Mark Dean, a black man. Okay, and. Uh, when we talk about these particular things that I happen to know because I do this a lot, you always get uh, white people come along and act as though it's not important and that you're almost being racist or they will actually accuse you of being racist because you stress the racial component that they did not know, don't want to know, and don't want you to know. That just shows you how very important it is because they want to continue to make these ridiculous statements assuming that any and everything that was ever done was done by a white man rather than a person of color. They prefer ignorance, in other words, so they th their ears are burning. They don't want to hear it. They, they just want to continue to lie and deny it. Lie and deny it. That's what they do. That's what they want to do. It makes them feel good about their own mediocrity and their own failure, basically. So let's talk a little bit more. I want to keep this video short, but I want to, I, I decided I would make a number of videos about a lot of the African Americans who have, who have been and still are on the forefront of technology so they can continue to give credit to this invisible white man. They can never do what I'm doing, which is give you hardcore facts. They can never give you the names, the, the biography, the details, the, the, or any of that. They just make assumptions. They just make these assumptions, which they usually tell themselves. And I realize, I do realize, and I know some of these people are going to find this video. And I just want you people to know, do, those who are in that ilk that I'm referring to, I have absolutely no respect for you whatsoever. I'm usually very polite to people that come to my videos. Even if I get into debate, I usually refer to people as Madam or Sir or genius, or Einstein, even if I'm insulting you. But, you people are idiots. You are beyond stupid. And really, I would actually prefer if you, <laughs> you just don't come to my videos. Then you have nothing worthwhile to say. You're not capable of intelligent, reasonable discourse or debate. Uh, and, you, and you're frankly just a waste of time. You are. Yeah, that's how I feel about you. Anyway, let's uh, get into a little bit of details about uh, Emmett McHenry, who founded Network Solutions and basically had it stolen out from under him, pretty much. But I don't want to just focus on him in this video. I plan to make, uh, I'm just doing this on the, on the fly right now. I'm going to do a lot more research and a lot more details on him and some of the other pioneers.
So this video is going to be a rough draft of what I'm going to do in the future. But there is a lot of companies that are household names that uh, people just incorrectly assume that black people had nothing to do with. And oftentimes it's the black people that are running those companies or founded the companies themselves.